What does the word resilience mean? In the energy sector, it's probably one of the most important concepts to consider today. New physical, financial and virtual risks are posing ever greater threats to the energy sector. Will it withstand the pressures or will it break? We need resilience. The demand for secure, affordable and environmentally sustainable energy is growing. But these demands place strain on energy infrastructure, resources and financing, especially now when energy policies and technologies are in transition across the globe. The decisions and investments made today will lock us into our energy future for the next 20 to 30 years. To ensure resilience, energy infrastructure must be designed and built not only stronger, but smarter. To do this, the World Energy Council and their partners have identified three crucial areas of emerging risk that we must address. Firstly, extreme weather. Frequent and severe weather events can impact on infrastructure. Transmission and distribution networks can be seriously damaged by storms or hurricanes. Hydropower generation can be impacted with droughts and changing rainfall patterns. The rise in global average temperatures is stimulating more of these occurrences every year and even creating a greater need for energy to combat the intense heat and cold. Another key risk is the energy-water-food nexus. After agriculture, energy is the most water-intensive sector. 98% of electricity supply critically depends on the availability of water. The interdependencies and sometimes competing demands between water usage and the production of energy and food triggers great challenges. Disruptions to the nexus can impact the stability of energy supply and demand for years or decades. The third key area of risk is cyber threat. The digitization of the energy sector has resulted in a massive development of new methods and enhanced abilities to share data, improve management and increase efficiencies. With this comes increased vulnerabilities. It changes the risk profile of energy systems which will impact on financial requirements and sophisticated cyber attacks have already led to some of the first real incidents disrupting energy systems. As our energy sector catapults forward, changing and morphing in its complexity, meeting a greater energy demand while being more and more vulnerable, understanding and improving resilience is one of the few ways we can be better prepared. To increase resilience, the World Energy Council and its partners recommend seven actions are taken. Key recommendations include finding creative financing solutions, such as attracting investments from a more diverse group of investors and understanding risk transfer with tailored instruments such as weather derivatives and cyber insurance. Improving information sharing and harmonizing cross-border actions as well as a greater degree of diversity in energy infrastructure makeup. Creating a legal framework that clearly defines the required levels of resilience for energy infrastructure. Taking action will reduce exposure, unlock capital and ultimately cut costs, ensuring the resilience of tomorrow's energy systems for the greatest benefit of all. In an increasingly financially constrained world, focusing on resilient energy infrastructure makes business and political sense. It is no longer an option, it is a must. Find out more at worldenergy.org forward slash publications.